let's talk a little bit about a medication called methylene blue. So methylene blue is actually a medical dye and it is used for you know, a number of different purposes within uh, procedures to be able to track urine output and urine flow um, among other things that we use it for as, as a dye. But it also is a medication and it's kind of an interesting medication. It has multiple purposes. It can be used to reverse a condition called met hemoglobinemia, which is a form of anemia. And it can also be used for, uh, it's been shown to be effective as an anti-malarial treatment and effective at actually causing what we call apoptosis or cell death within cancer cells. And these are just a few of the examples. In the Lyme world, we have used methylene blue as an anti-malarial for conditions like Babesia, but we also use it for Lyme disease itself. And more recently, there was a study done to, uh, to look at the, the treatment options for a condition called Bartonella, which is something we see quite often with Lyme disease. So in this study, that, which was done last year, they studied a number of different antibiotics and they also studied these antibiotics in combination with other treatments to try to figure out which one was gonna give the most benefit during the different stages of development and growth of the Bartonella bacteria. And methylene blue ended up being a big player in this particular study. What was found is that methylene blue actually, not maybe not alone, but combined with other antibiotics was one of the most effective treatments, specifically azithromycin, rifampin, and ciprofloxacin, all of which in different combinations were shown effective. And those combinations with methylene blue tended to be more effective for treating Bartonella. My personal experience has been quite uh, beneficial actually in treating Lyme disease and Bartonella using methylene blue. I uh, certainly have seen some patients that have been a little bit stuck with their treatment do quite well adding this, this combination to their therapy. Of course, any medication has its side effects and just um, things to know about with methylene blue would be number one, it, because it is a medical dye, it is quite a strong and potent dye and actually will uh, change some of the colors of your, uh, specifically urine is what we mostly see it in. We, urine will turn a bluish greenish color on methylene blue. It can also cause some muscle pain. That's not an uncommon reaction that we see with methylene blue. And of course there are you know, a number of other side effects too. There is potential that it could cause some anemia. So we do monitor blood counts and things like that while we're on that. But overall, generally seems to be pretty well tolerated. And as long as people are aware that your urine is gonna look a pretty, pretty abnormal for the time that you're using this. And I guess another one I would probably add in there too is that there are some patients who notice some skin discoloration with it too. And again, following the, the blue dye, it, it kind of changes to a purplish bluish color. Now this and all these side effects are reversible and they, are things that, that we monitor for so that if someone is having an adverse reaction, of course, we, we stop that antibiotic or that medication. So I would keep that in mind as an option for you. If you are treating for Lyme, specifically also treating for Bartonella, and you're needing a different regimen or something that can help you get to that next level in your treatment.